So most probably, guys, if you came from uh, ABM STEM, you must have had some lessons on time value of money. Uh, perhaps the only difference will be here. It will be really Excel based. We're not going to use calculators. We're going to tap the power of Excel as far as computing time value of money problems. <clears throat> so we know from finance that one peso today is not the same as one peso after one year because we know that money has cost. Money has a time value. So you recall if I, uh, when I asked you before, what would you prefer, one million today or one million uh, after one year? And uh, there was a unanimously, a unanimous choice among you that you prefer one million today. It's simply because money has a, a time component. There's a time value of money. You could have opted to, uh, you could, uh, your choice in accepting the one million today is correct because you could put it in a worthwhile investment and after one year, it could have earned uh, some other amount. Okay, that's the very concept of a time value of money. Now, in time value of money, there are two basic, uh, two basic uh, processes that we look at. One is what we call compounding. The other is discounting. When you say compounding, given, so let me illustrate this. So for example, you, you're given a certain amount today, let, let me call the amount A today, okay. How much will that be? Okay, how much will that be after n periods? Okay, so that period can be in terms of years, months, days, even seconds or hours. So for as long as there's a difference between the time period of A and B, then we can uh, do a process called compounding. Okay, compounding. Okay. So the process of getting what we call the future value okay, is called compounding. And you have learned before that the formula for compounding is simply PV, which is the present value. In this case, A is your present value. Okay. And then you'd like to know what's your B, your future value. And the uh, formula for that is to get F your future value, you have to have your A, your present value, multiply it by a certain factor. Okay, you multiply it by, this, by a certain factor and the factor is given by this, by this expression, this one. That's one plus R raised to the power E. Okay. Now there's a special name for this. This factor is also called, what do you think guys? Any, anyone? That's a what factor? Blank factor. When you're getting the future value, okay, given your present value, given your amount now or amount at a specific period of time, and then you're projecting it, you're putting it n periods afterwards, we said that that's called a the process of compounding. So in order to get that future value, we have to know what the present value is and then multiply it by a certain factor. And that factor is one plus R raised to the T. There's a special name for that factor, as I mentioned a while ago, and it's called what? Anyone? Just unmute yourself. Any guess, guys? It's actually written there in, in your spreadsheet. Okay, you, you may type in the chat box if you can speak to the mic what do you think guys just have a guess ano yung tawag sa factor na yun na minumultiply natin uh, time value of money okay uh, meron pa may thank you hands for your answer but there's uh, a special name for that okay the, it's called what it starts with letter c guys Yes, thank you. It's called the compound factor. Yun. Sinulat ko na dito, no? Compound factor or compounding factor. 
So when you're compounding a certain amount, you're actually getting the future value. Okay, you're multiplying the value now with a factor which is one plus r raised to the t. Okay, that one plus r raised to the t is called your compound factor. Now on the other hand, if you're given the future value, okay, so in this case, if we're given b, and we'd like to know what's the value n periods before. Okay, suppose this is 10 years. And we'd like to know how much is the value of B now, which, which was 10, 10 years before. Okay, that process is called discounting. Okay, the process of getting the present value of a particular amount in the future is called discounting. That's why we have what we call discount factor. And this one plus R raised to negative T is also called your discount factor. Mathematically, guys, it's very easy to show that. So for instance, I have this. Okay, so we have the uh, future value is equal to the present value times your compound factor. Okay, so we can solve for the present value. If we know this relationship, then we know that PV is equal to FV, okay, then divided by 1 plus R raised to the T. Okay, so much so that this 1 plus 1 over 1 plus R raised to the T is called your, this is called your discount factor. But we know from algebra, guys, that this one, that this expression, 1 over 1 plus r raised to the t, can also be written as, anyone guys? What's another way to write this? Uh, you learned in your algebra before that 1 over 1 plus r raised to the t is just the same as 1 plus r. Okay, I think my answer you thought in an atom. Okay, yes. Thank you, Hans. That's correct, no? One rate raised to the, one plus R raised to the, so this is, okay, one plus R raised to the negative T. So, wala na yung one over. Okay, so equivalent yan, guys. Uh, these two are equivalent. One over one plus R raised to the T is just the same as one plus R raised to the negative T. Okay, so in this session, and we, uh, most probably we'll be able to finish this by next meeting before we go to the next lesson, which is risk and return. But what's, uh, I believe that we can accomplish this because mm -hmm. we're, we're going to use Excel all throughout. Okay, so let's suppose uh, we're given this example. The present value, we have 1 million now. The question of how much will this be 20 years down the road? if the rate of return is 12%. So in this scenario, we're actually looking for the future value. Okay, because we're given the future present value, how much will that be 20 years down the road? Okay, so we can use this mathematically. Okay, so let's use this. So to get the future value, it's equal to the present value times one plus R raised to the T. So what's our present value? Our present value is 1 million Multiply that by one plus, what's our R? Uh, what's our R? Our R is our rate, okay? And then how do you do exponent in Excel? Anyone? Can, 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 May naka, may naka ano yata, may naka unmute. Thank you so much. So paki-mute na lang muna, no? Thank you. Okay, so yeah, uh, to may answer mo, Hans. So how do we uh, perform exponentiation in Excel? Para natin i-raise to the 20. 20 years. Anyone? How do we do that in Excel? Yes, correct. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. You're correct. Thank you, Madeline. Yes, that's correct. We use the caret. No? That's the shift six as far as my keyboard is concerned. So, yung nasa taas ng six generally, 
yung caret symbol. That's the symbol for exponentiation in Excel. So raised to the 20. Okay. So we're interested in knowing how much 1 million today will be in 20 years if uh, we put it in an, in an investment that earns 12% per annum. Okay. The answer is 9,646,293. Okay. So very easy, guys. However, we're not going to use these formulas because when you come to the other computations, like how about the annuity, it's really quite difficult to perform this. Okay, So why will we use that when we can use the functions of Excel? Okay, So uh, to check this, guys, we can use the function in Excel called FV. So there's an, a function in Excel called FV. So if we write FB, we'll see that the choices are FB and FB schedule. And FB tells us if it returns the future value of an invest investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. So we can get the future value of an investment if you have periodic constant payments okay, and a constant interest rate. In our case, do we have a periodic constant payment? What do you think, guys? Do we have a periodic constant payment? The answer is no. Because this is just one single cash flow and we wait for 20 years before we get the, uh, before we get the uh, final amount. The periodic constant payment refers to what we call an annuity, which we'll be discussing in a while. Uh, however, we still can use this FB. So let's uh, look at the syntax of FB. Okay, tab. Okay, we have here one, two, three, four, five, five parameters. You have the rate, you have the amper, you have the PMT, PV, and then the type. So these are five parameters that we need to, uh, to uh, fill before we can get the future value. First is the rate. We know that the rate given is 12%, so we can just click this, comma. How about amper? What's amper, guys? Amper refers to the number of periods. Okay, so what's our, what's our number of periods? Okay, kindly sound off, guys. Ilan yung amper natin? Ilan yung number of periods? Okay, sana mas maganda kung i-unmute nyo lang sarili nyo. Okay, one. Number of periods ba? Isa lang. Okay, or in other words, ilang taon, no? Na i-compound, Okay. Thank 20 you. 20 years, sir. Yeah, thank you. That's 20 years, no? So, ang N per natin, the number of periods of compounding is 20 years. All right? So, N per natin is 20. And then PMT, guys. What's PMT? PMT refers to constant annual payments. Parang ganito, no? So, let me, let me backtrack a bit and show this timeline. Uh, suppose we have this, this timeline, Okay, suppose we have here 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, and up to the end 100. So this is what we mean by constant payments. Okay, constant payments, yeah. ito yung kinatawag natin na annuity, which in Excel is your PMT. Okay, so meron ba tayo ditong annuity? May, may, uh, may PMT ba tayo dito? Kasi if we draw this, if we draw our timeline, okay, dito ko, the drawing, I'm sorry for the uh, uh, mix up here. Okay, ito yung timeline natin. Okay, meron tayong 1 million today. Okay, tapos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hanggang 19, 20. So isa lang yung cash flow natin ngayon, 1 million. Ang tanong, how much will that be 20 years down the road? So, meron ba tayong cash flow dito every year? Constant annual payment? Wala. No? Wala. So, in this case, guys, no PMT in this case. Okay, so wala tayong ilalagay sa PMT. So, balikan natin dito yung formula natin. Okay, so this is equal to, again, FB. Okay, tab. So, lalabas yung rate natin is 12%. Kama, 
and then amper is 20 comma PMT. You can either write zero. Okay, so pwede mo isulat zero kasi wala namang annuity or you can just ignore and <clears throat> type another comma. Okay, notice that I didn't write anything uh, between the commas. Excel will read that as <clears throat> blank value. So ang blank will be equal to zero. Okay, so but if you're confused with that, you can just write zero and comma. <clears throat> now, next question. What's your PV? Guys, ano yung PV natin? <clears throat> ano yung value ngayon? Ano yung pre present value? One million, sir. One million. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you for those who uh, <clears throat> chatted also. Correct. Madeline, thank you. Uh, thank you for, for those also who sounded off your the answer. Salamat talaga. No? So, one million yung on natin present value. So, we have to click this. PV natin is one million. Okay. And the last comma type <clears throat> okay so this is strange you know end of the period at saka beginning of the period <clears throat> mamaya i-explain ko kung ano yan no? pero yan guys has something to do with your annuity kasi dalawang klase ng annuity either end of the period or beginning of the period in this case wala naman tayong annuity di ba okay so either you put zero or either you put one wala rin saysay yan kasi wala naman tayong Annuity, yung annuity natin dito zero. So we can just ignore that. No? Okay? So this is one way to compute for your future value or this way. Okay? So pareho lang guys yung answer na ibibigay niyan. So let's see first. No? If I put zero here, control enter, I get 9646. No? Or if I remove this, I get also 9646. So the same. Okay, they're the same. So whether you put zero there in your PMT or just ignore that, and I also paste nothing in the uh, type, okay, we still get the same answer. Okay, let me pause for a while. Any questions or paki ano nga guys? Paki chat kung clear so far yung discussion natin. Mm, question lang po. Yes, sige, please go on. Why is it negative po? Oh, sige, I'll explain that. Very good question, no? I'll explain. Uh, after after I get the remarks dun sa chat, may atun ba? Okay, good. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for... Sino yung nagtanong kanina kung bakit negative? Si Zen po. Si Zen? Sino? Sorry? Okay, sige. Thank you, ah. Thank you for that question. Okay, so that's a very interesting question. Bakit nga naman negative to, di ba? Alam natin na kapag uh, naka-red, naka-format to, no? Naka-red, tapos may... or naka-parenthesis... Negative yan. Okay. Why is it negative? Ganito, guys. Excel is very particular as regards Excel is very particular as regards the direction of the cash flow. Okay. Ano yung direction ng cash flow sa present value? Is it positive or negative? Tinan nyo guys yung, yung present value natin. Positive ba yan o negative? Guys, hello, ito, yung 1 million, is it positive or negative? Positive, sir. Positive, positive siya, di ba? Positive, wala naman negative sign dyan eh. So, it's positive. So, Excel will read this since it's a positive, ibig sabihin, positive cash inflow yan, papasok sa atin. So, on a practical perspective, ano siya, parang loan siya. Di ba? Parang nag-loan ka, pumasok yung pera na 1 million. After 20 years, ano mangyayari? Yung direction ba ng cash flow, papasok sa'yo o palabas? Ngayon, papasok. After 20 years, magiging ano? Inflow or outflow? Outflow. Outflow. Kasi positive ngayon, ibig sabihin, binasa ni Excel yan, it's being read as a loan. No? So, nag-loan tayo, kumuha tayo ng pera. After 20 years, ininegative niya. Magbabayad ka, no? Okay, so that's why it's negative. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. So kasi, very particular sa Excel dun sa direction ng cash flow. Suppose guys, gawin ko itong negative. Ha? Mo, ha? Gawin ko itong negative. Ano ibig sabihin ng negative? Ibig sabihin, nag-invest tayo. No? Naglabas tayo ng pera. After 20 years, ang mangyayari? Enter natin yan. O, oh, di ba? Naging, naging positive na yung answer natin dito. Except guys, ito kasi, ano to, ano? Ah... Uh, 
Ano to? Kasi formula to eh. No? I'm referring to this Excel. No? Yung binigay na, yung generate na Excel na value is positive future value. Yung present value natin negative. So, always take note guys na na very particular si Excel dun sa direction ng cash flow. Okay? Now, if we're not interested, nangyari hindi natin, ang gusto lang natin yung value. How much is 1 million today after 20 years at 12% interest? Hindi natin, we're not looking at whether this is a loan or this is an investment. Gusto lang natin malaman yung value. Pwede natin gawin guys, what we can do is just put negative here sa harap. No? Lagay, maglagay tayo ng negative para ang answer pa rin positive. Okay. Kasi bakit natin ginagawa yun? Bakit? Why, why will we do that? Kasi we're not interested in knowing the uh, the type of transaction kung investment ba yan, naglabas tayo ng pera or loan ba yan, kumiram tayo ng pera. Okay? Clear yan guys? Clear? So just to avoid confusion, okay? pwede nyo ilagay yung negative sa harap para alam natin, basta ang absolute value na 1 million ngayon after 20 years, it is 9.6 million at 12% interest. Okay, clear so far? Pa Pakichat nga guys kung okay so far yung, ano, yung discussion natin ng FB. No? Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So, if it was invested in 30 years, ano kaya mangyayari? I-invest natin in 30 years. So let's do the same. I'll put negative FB here, guys, para maging positive yung answer. Rate is 12%. N per is 30 years. PMT, ignore. No? Kasi wala namang annuity dito. This is just a single cash flow, PB. Yeah. And then ignore the type. Kasi nga, we're not looking at this as an annuity. Control, enter. <clears throat> okay. So nakikita nyo, guys, no? Yung difference ng 10 years. So this is actually called the power of compounding. So grabe yung incremental effect sa future value ng number of years. We'll, we'll plot this in a while. Okay, and then how about kung 40 years siya? Okay, so this is equal to negative FB rate at 12%, comma, N per at 40 years, comma, PMT ignore, present value 1 million yeah. so this is yeah, 93 million so you can see guys the power of compounding okay so siguro illustrate natin dito no? okay uh, let me add an extra sheet Okay, let's uh, let's set up. Pakit pakita lang natin guys yung power of compounding, no? PV and then FB. So let's uh, make this our enter. Enter natin gawin natin one, two, three. Okay, by the way, guys, dali, ah. So let's let's create enter natin. Let's see from one up to fifty years, no? One up to fifty years. Uh, paano mag shortcut guys na na 1, 2, 3 and then up to 50 kasi siguro ang ginagawa nyo sineset up nyo 1, 2, 3 tapos diba? ginagawa nyo diba? dinadrag nyo hanggang maging hanggang misan pahirapan guys no? hanggang 50 yan 1 up to 50 is there a better way to do this? Paano kasi kung 1 up to 1 million? Diba? Ang hirap niyan. 1 million, kunyari, guys. Okay. Matatapos na yung buong araw, hindi pa tayo tapos. No? Okay? So what's the quickest way to do that? Mag-recreate tayo ng 1 up to 50. So one technique is is this. No? So let's, uh, let, let me illustrate that. Home. Kaya tayo sa home, guys. And then, uh, you have, you see this editing? Okay, guys, kita nyo itong editing na to. Okay, so let's do that. And then here, under editing, you have fill. 
Okay? Fill. Tapos kay fill, meron tayong flash fill. Uh, sorry, not flash fill, but series pala. Series. Series. Okay, kita nyo tau, guys. Okay, sige. And then, our series is in columns, diba? Pababa. So, dapat, ang default kasi rows. Kasi pag rows, mag-fill siya ng pag ganito. Left to right. Gusto natin pababa, no? Columns. Okay? Step value. So, dapat andi dito tayo ngayon pala, guys, ha? Okay, let me... You have to be... You have to start here, no? Tanggalin ko to. You have to start with the beginning number, 1. Okay, and then go to uh, go to fill, and then series, columns, okay, step value <clears throat> one. Ibig sabihin, you keep on adding one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So depending kung anong gusto mo, kung gusto mong add ka ng five, 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 then put here five. So we're just going to do increments of one. Stop value, illustrate ko lang guys ha. Up, up to 1 million. One. Okay. So now you see this power. Gusto kong mag-create mag from 1 and then increment of 1, step value, up to 1 million. Okay. Yeah. Tignan nyo guys kung hanggang saan, kung ano yan. Diba? Hanggang 1 million siya. Right? Okay. Any questions guys? So that's how to quickly fill a series. So, kung gusto nyo kunyari 2, 4, 6, 8, magsimula kayo sa 2, tapos increments of 2. Para maging 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. Okay, any questions? Clear so far, guys? Clear yung, yung series natin. Okay, good. Sige. So, let me undo that. Control Z. So, hindi nyo na ma-undo siya. No? So, pakita lang ulit tayo. Control Shift up arrow. I-delete ko na lang ulit to. So, hindi ko siya na, hindi siya pwede sa control Z. And then, again, write M per. And then, start with 1. So, I stand here, 1. And then, uh, fill, series, columns. I, I'm starting with 1. Step value, 1. And then, up to 50. Yan. Okay. So, ang gawin natin dito, insert tayo. No? Okay. Hindi natin kailangan yung PV. And then rate. Okay. So, we're going to fill up this table. Okay. Let's suppose just a single peso. Huh? And a rate yung ginamit natin kanina 12%. So we have one. This can indicate one million kunyari, no? And then a rate of 12%. Ang tanong, how much will be the future value kung yung n per natin, one, if it's two, three, four, five, magkano yung future value natin? What we want to illustrate here is the power of compounding. So what happens to our future value if your n per increases? Okay, so that's 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 what we're doing here. No? Okay, so in order for us to facilitate our formula, okay, naalala nyo kung paano natin bibigyan tong 1 at saka 12. Remember guys, the uh, skill, the technique I taught you before. Okay, to give this, uh, kasi ito, ang pangalan nito guys, C1. No? We don't want C1 yung pangalan nitong cell na to. We want to give it PV name. Tapos ito, we want to give it rate, yung katabi niya. So if we recall guys, to give this a name PV, we can just type it here. Type nyo PV, tapos ito naman, i-type nyo dito rate. So ibig sabihin, may mga pangalan na itong cells na to. Or, kung maraming ano, kung gusto nyo, i-ano na lang, pagsama nyo to, then control shift F3, if you recall this, diba? Control shift F3, sa Mac yata, command shift F3. Okay, and then you notice, ito na yung create names from selection and Excel guesses na ang pangalan is at the left column. So, tama ito. No? Kasi ang pangalan ng 1 
PV, ang pangalan ng rate, ng 12% rate. So, I click this, okay? And then, if I check, guys, yun, may pangalan na siya. Sa name box, makikita natin si 1, ang pangalan niya, PV, si 12, ang pangalan niya, rate. Okay, so that will facilitate our computation. So, this is equal to, so let's put negative para maging positive yung answer natin, FB. Okay, so what's our rate? Our rate is at 12%, so we can just click that or type rate. No? Yan. Kasi may pangalan na yung 12% na yan eh. Okay, comma. What's our N per? This is our N per. No? One year. Okay. Then, comma. PMT wala. No? PV is, yung PV natin, yung binigyan natin ng name kanina, PV. There. And then, close it. So, hindi natin kailangan yung type, no? Okay, pause muna ako guys. Any questions about the formula? Any questions? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so we can now perform this. Control enter. Control enter. Yan. So tanggalin ko lang yung ano, yung control 1 tanggalin ko yung dollar sign number okay number lang two decimal places okay so finormat ko lang siya na 1.12 then we can now okay so notice guys kung 1 year lang yung 1 peso natin after 1 year it's 1.12 assuming that the rate is 12% no kung 50 years natin uh, after 50 years, guys, control shift down arrow, okay, yung 1 peso naging 289 pesos. Okay, of course, kung 1 million yan, naging 289, naging 289 pesos yan. Okay. So let's, if, we, if I plot this, okay, if I plot this, guys, insert, kina natin yung, ano, kina natin yung behavior ng, ano, ng, ng plot natin. Okay. Can you see? Sito na lang. Yan. So, take a look at how future value behaves. Paano siya nagbe-behave, guys? Hindi siya linear, no? Hindi siya pa ganun. Rather, it's Exponential. So, habang pinapalakihan natin ang pinapalakihan yung years, ang taas niya, guys, exponential. Konting dagdag na lang, grabe yung taas ng, ano natin, ng, ng uh, future value. So, this tells us the relationship between future value and time. Okay? Hindi siya isang linear lang na straight line na relationship, but rather exponential. So, nakikita natin yung Mas malaki yung effect, guys, habang tumatagal. Mas grabe yung taas ng future value. And let's, let's just, uh, okay, dagdagal lang natin kunyari, ano? Kunyari, up to 60 natin. Okay, expand lang natin to up to, up to 60. And then, okay. Tinan nyo, guys, oh. No? Yung plot natin nasa ilalim. I'm looking for it. Okay, so if I adjust this, guys, okay, uh, select data, uh, FD edit, gagawin ko siyang hanggang, I think hanggang 63, no? Hanggang row 63, hanggang row 63, to include yung additional na data. 
Okay? So, see now guys, yung 60. So, talagang grabe yung ano, no? From 289 naging uh, 900 something just in the with an additional 10 years. Okay. 897. Okay. So we can see here, guys, that this is called the power of compounding. Okay. Eh, antinin nang palang natin yan, guys, yung ano ah, yung, yung emperor. Paano din kung, ano, kung magbabago yung rate? Uh, from 1% up to say 20%. Makikita din natin yung impact niyan uh, as far as the rate also. Okay? So, ang lesson dyan guys, yung power of compounding. Grabe yung taas uh, over time. Okay, let's uh, let's answer this question. Okay, you have 1 million now. How long will it take the money to double? Kasi kung 20 years, sobra-sobra na, di ba? At 12%, guys, how long will it take the money to double? So, paano kaya? Okay, any, you know, any, any suggestion? Any suggestion, guys? Gano katagal na magdo-double yung magdo-double yung pera. Okay, so let's first use the the formula, no? Okay. So uh, okay, gusto natin maging ano? 2 million. So we want the money to double, 2 million. Okay, so how do you compute for the for the uh, uh, future value? So it's equal to negative FB. Okay. Ang rate natin is 12%. Sanin 12% natin. So, what's our N per? What's our answer, guys? Yun ang hindi natin alam, di ba? Okay, sandali, ah, may nag-chat. 50. Okay. 50, okay. Kung 50 yung ano natin, 50 yung number of periods, no? Kama. PMT wala. Tapos PV is, present value natin is 1 million. Okay. So our money will be 289 million. So, sobra-sobra yun. Ang kailangan natin, gusto natin, uh, ito kasi 50 years to eh. We don't want the 289. What we want is the 2 million. So, pa paano kaya natin gagawin yun? Paano natin gagamitin? Any suggestion, guys? Any suggestions? <clears throat> mm -mm, yeah. Uh, thank you, Hans. Thank you for answering. It's it's okay. It's okay. I appreciate your contribution. So, ano gagawin natin, guys? Okay. So, isulat muna natin yung future value natin. No? So, that's negative FB. Ano yung rate natin? 12%, kama. And per natin, ito. No? Hindi natin alam kung ilan yung number of periods natin. Ilan yung PMT natin? Wala. Ilan yung present value natin? 1 million. No? And ignore the type. Okay. So, kung zero, kasi walang laman to, no? kung zero yung and per natin, ano lalabas? Ano lalabas class? 1 million pa rin. Remember, this is your future value. Huh? This is our future value. Future value natin, 1 million. Huh? Present value natin, 1 million din. Bakit kaya ganun? Kasi, 0 pa, pa itong ano natin. 0 pa yung N per natin. 
Paglagyan natin kunyari ng 1 'yan, 'yun, magkakaroon tayo ng future value. Lagyan natin ng 2. Okay? So you notice guys, habang dinadagdagan natin tong time natin, you enter, nag-i-increase yung future value natin. If it's 10 years, so enter natin 3105. Okay, pause muna ako. Is this clear guys? Is this model clear? Okay, repeat ko ah, ito yung present value natin. Okay? Ito yung ito yung ano natin, n per, no? This is our n per. This is what we want to solve. Ito yung gusto natin ma-solve. Okay? So that this will be 2 million. Okay. Ang rate natin 12%. Okay. So, ano mangyayari? Dapat bawasan pa natin, ano? Kasi ito 3105. Okay, kung gawin natin 5 years, kulang pa, no? Kung gawin natin 5.5. Ay, sorry. Ito pa rin 5.5. A 186. Of course, you know that, that that's a a very very un, ineffective way of solving it. So, ito ni model natin. You notice, pag binabago natin to, na babago tong future value. So we can now use goal seek. Remember goal seek data. So data. Here we have what if analysis, and then goal seek. Okay. So is set cell natin. Ano is set cell natin? <clears throat> Anyone, please? Uh, we have used this before. <clears throat> what will be our set cell? Sir, yun nilagyan ng um, formula po. Which is? Anong cell? The green one po. The green one, correct. Thank you so much. That's, that's, that's correct, no? We want yung set cell natin ito. Okay? Set cell to what value? If you recall guys, ito itatype to kasi walang spreadsheet icon dito. No? Ibig sabihin, hindi, na, hindi natin siya pwede i-link. To what value to? 2 million. 2 million. Correct. Thank you. Yan. So sabi natin, Excel, gawin mo nga tong 2 million by changing what cell? The yellow one, sir. The yellow one. Yan. That's correct. No? So tinan natin ako. May mga, may mga nag-chat. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your answer is correct, no? So, i-okay natin to. Okay, there you go. Yun. Okay? Okay. So, we were able to solve yung question na, gano'ng katagal bago ma-double your money? No? Para, kunyari, so yung 1 million ngayon, gano'ng katagal bago siya maging 2 million if the rate of return is uh, 12%. Of course, guys, kung mas malaki ito, nare, 20% to ah. Oh, 20, kung 20% to, okay, so let's let's solve that, no? Let's solve this again. Data, uh, data, what if analysis, goal seek, set cell, this one, to what value, to 2 million, by changing this cell. Okay. So notice guys, kanina 6 years, no? Ngayon, 3.8 na lang. So mas mabilis madodoble yung pera, guys, if the rate of return is 12, 20%. So you notice guys, yung mga changes, no? Control Z ko nga. Okay. So binalik natin sa kanina, 12% yung rate of return and naging 2 million siya in 6.12 years time. Okay, any questions so far, guys? Okay. Just looking at the uh, present value. Questions? None, sir. Okay, thank you. The rest, guys, clear ba? Pakichat na lang, no? Salamat sa pag-feedback. Okay, yung iba, clear? Okay, good. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, yung reverse, guys, tingnan natin yung present value. Okay. Thank you for the feedback. Present value naman, guys. Okay. So, i-reverse natin yung problem natin. Okay. So, we have 9.6. Ito yung value kanina, no? Okay. How many, how much is that now? 20 years. In 20 years' time. At if the rate of return is 12%. 12%. So, ito ang ginagawa natin, guys. Kinukuha natin yung 
present value. Okay? Of course, we can use the formula a while ago, but hindi natin kukunin yun. Diretso na tayo sa Excel. And is equal to, what function are we going to use? PV. PV, correct. So, ilagay din natin negative, guys, para magwala yung negative sign. So, it's negative PV. Okay, huwag nyo ito gagamitin, ha, yung PV na to, kasi ito yung value kanina, itong table na to. No? Dapat yung function na gagamitin natin. So, tab. Yan. So, ito yung mga kailangan natin, rate, and per PMT. And of course, instead of PV, ang bibigay natin yung FB. And type pa rin. So, rate is 12%, comma, hamper is 20, comma, no PMT, we have a future value of 9649. So, we expect, guys, dapat ang answer niyan, 1 million. Kasi pareho lang yung cash flow na yan eh. Iniba lang natin kung ano yung hinahanap. Control, enter. So, true enough, guys. No? 1 million yung, ano, yung present value. So, inverse, inverse functions lang yan, guys. Okay, you can compute for the future value given your present value and vice versa. You can compute for your present value given your present value. Okay? So, so far guys, sinin natin yung concept ng, ng time value of money, yung compounding, discounting. This is a process called discounting. Okay, kasi kinukuha natin yung, dinidiscount natin yung uh, 9649. Ibig sabihin ng discount, hindi na natin binibilang yung accumulation niya discount. Tanggalin mo yung accumulation na yun, it will reverse back to the present value. Compound naman, pinapadagdagan natin. Okay. The next one, guys, is an annuity. Okay. So, si annuity, dalawang klase yan. You have annuity ordinary at saka annuity due. Anong difference sila? <clears throat> annuity ordinary begins at the end of the period. Okay. Ibig sabihin, Ito yung current period. Sa, sa ending yan, which is this one, dun magsisimula yung cash flow. So this is annuity ordinary. Okay. On the other hand, this one, <clears throat> the cash flow begins immediately. <clears throat> and that's called annuity due. Okay? So kapag auto, oh, immediately yung simula ng cash flow, due yan. Kapag after, at the end of the first period pa, Kasi period ngayon, ano? now, then at the end of, kunyari yearly to, at the end of the <clears throat> year now, so saka magsisimula yung cash flow. That's what we call annuity ordinary or, or ordinary annuity. And usually guys, ang assumption, pag hindi mention kung anong klaseng annuity, the assumption is always ordinary. Okay? Unless sinabing annuity due, then it presupposes this type of uh, sorry ah. <clears throat> so ito pareho lang na ano no pareho lang na cash flow limang 2000 <clears throat> ito nga lang nagsimula immediately ngayon ito naman after after one period okay question who will have the higher present value in these cash flows <clears throat> itong annuity ordinary or annuity due <clears throat> sino mas ma, mas mataas na uh, present value or future value, guys. Ordinary or due? The annual guys, yung principle, the farther you are, you are away from the present value, the lower will be your... Okay, tama. No? You're correct, Hans. Madeline, tama. Mas mataas yung present value or future values ng annuity due. Kasi ito, guys, immediately 2,000 na. Andi dito na yung pera. No? Okay, kahit na pareho silang tig to 2,000 <clears throat> for 5 years, ito din 2,000 for 5 years. Always, 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 guys, annuity due will give us the higher present value or future value. So, ano mas maganda? Annuity ordinary or annuity due? Eh, depende kung anong klaseng ano ka. No? Kung Kung ikaw yung ano, kung ikaw yung uh, a borrower, guys. Uh, in a sense kung borrower ka uh, or okay, borrower ka ibig sabihin magbabayad ka, no? Mas gusto mo yung an annuity ordinary. Gusto mo hindi ka kagad magbabayad, no? Okay, you don't pay immediately. Okay? So depending on the nature of uh, 
uh, the uh, investor or the borrower. Okay, but what's important here is that the uh, annuity due will always <clears throat> have the higher future value or present value. Kasi nga, closer to now, mas mataas yung present value or future value. Okay. Sige, let's... Uh, uh, ito guys, let's... Uh, let's... Ande. Mamaya na natin gawin to, no? Uh, ito lang pinapakita dito. O sige, gawin na natin to. So let's let's contemplate here an annuity ordinary of 1 no? so tigo 1 lang 1 peso lang oops 1 1 1 4 so lagyan natin dito guys 1 1 1 for 30 years okay okay so ang tanong ang tanong guys magkano yung uh, this is what we call, remember, annuity ordinary. No? So take, take note, guys. Annuity ordinary siya. Bakit siya annuity ordinary? Kasi the cash flow began at the end of period zero. Okay. Dito yung transaction, okay, nagsimula yung cash flow at the end of period zero. Kaya dito siya nagsimula. So this is called annuity ordinary. No? So how much will be the present value of this? <clears throat> Gawin natin yung rate na pareho pa rin na 12%. No? Yung rate, gamitin natin yung kaninang rate na 12%. Okay. Any suggestion guys kung paano natin kukunin yung present value nito? Present value of this one guys. Okay, to get the present value of 1 after 1 year, <clears throat> what formula should we use? Present value hinahanap natin guys is equal to PV. No? PV yan. No? Let's put negative PV. Okay, ano yung rate natin? Rate natin, gamitin natin yung rate na yan. Gamitin natin yung 12% rate. N per. <clears throat> What's your N per guys? <clears throat> What's our enter? One, sir. One. Okay. Uh, for this one, for the first period, one. Pero pagpunta natin sa susunod, two na, no? Kasi second year na to eh. So, for this particular uh, <clears throat> value of one at the first year, ito yung ano natin, enter. Eh, itadrag natin yung formula na to. So, nagbabago yung N per natin. Kama? Okay. PMT, uh, itong formula na ginagamit natin, individual cash flows lang. Yung 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. No? So, mamaya gagamitin natin itong N per na to. No? Okay. So, PMT, what's our PMT? Wala. Okay. What's our future value? 1. Okay. And type, we ignore kasi... We're not treating this as an annuity. Uh, I hope uh, you get me. Ang kinukuha natin dito, <clears throat> magkano uh, present value ni 1 after 1 year? Magkano present value ni 1 after 2 years? After 3 years na may 1 ka, magkano present value niyan? So that's what this is telling us. So control enter. Okay, tanggalin ko yung dollar sign. Control 1. Number. Okay. Alright, so ano ibig sabihin nito? Yung 1, at the end of the first period, it's equivalent to 0.89 today. No? Equ equivalent siya sa 0.89 today. Alright, so let's copy this to the right. Okay, what do you notice about our value? Lumiliit, sir. Lumiliit, no? Lumiliit. Bakit? Okay. Take note guys, ito mga present value na ito ah. <clears throat> okay. Ito ba, itong 0 0.03 na to present value yan? Yes. Take note ah, formula natin, present value. So hindi to ano ah, hindi to after 30 years. This is the value now. Okay, itong 0 0.03 na to it's the value today of 1 peso in 30 years time from now. Okay, at 12%. 
So yung 1 peso after 30 years, magkano siya ngayon? It's 0 0.03. Okay? If the rate is uh, if the rate is uh, 12%. And question, pwede ba nating i-add to mga to? Can we add this, guys? Yes or no? Answer? Okay, no. Uh, uh, take note, ha, guys. Ha? Ito, value ka ilan to? Itong point eighty nine. Value ka ilan? Answer? Now. Now to, guys. Kasi, kinuha natin yung present value niyan. Take a look at the formula. Okay, today. Correct. It's the value today. Ito. Ito, guys. Kailan tong value na to? Yung point eight na yan. The next year. Next year? O, oh, tingnan yung formula. Anong formula niyan? Sandali, ah. Yung mga nang chat Okay, thank you, Madeline. Yes, that's correct, no? Today din. O, oh, tinan yung guys yung formula, ah. Ano sabi natin? PV. Diba? Yung PV, ibig sabihin, value ngayon yan. Okay, take note, guys, ha. Ah, pag ginagamit natin PV, kinoconvert natin yung value ngayon. Magkano siya ngayon? So, itong one na to, which is 1 peso after 2 years, hmm? ang value niya ngayon is 0.8. Ito guys, anong value to? Kailan to? Itong 0.71. Answer ngayon din. Ito ngayon din. Ngayon din. Ngayon din. So lahat ng mga yan guys, value ngayon yan. Okay? Again, ito. Itong 0.51 na to. This is the equivalent value of 1 peso after 6 years. So kung meron kang 1 peso in 6 years time, ang value ngayon yan is 0.51. If the rate is 12%. Okay? So, all of these guys are present values. Lahat yan. Okay. So, question. Pwede ba natin i-add na lahat yan, guys? Pwede na? I-insert ako dito ng ano, ha? Okay. Sorry. Uh, kinulang ako ng space dito. I-ganto ko na lang to ng content. Hmm? Binaba ko lang to ng content. So, can we add this? Answer yes or no, guys? Yes or no? Remember, ang pwede natin i-add, guys, yung mga pare-parehong time frame. So, yes. lahat. Oh, correct. Thank you. Correct. We can add everything. Ito, yung mga 0.89, 0.8. Kasi lahat sila nakapeg na today. Ito, hindi natin pwede i-add to. Yung 1, 1, 1 sa taas. Hindi pa pwede yan. No? Kasi this is 1 after 1 year. Ito, 1 after 2 years. 1 after 3 years, etc. Ito, lahat converted na to into PV. Kasi kinamitan natin yung formula na PV. So this is 0.89 now, 0.8 now, 0.71 now, 0.64 now. So lahat yan now, therefore, pwede natin i-add lahat yan. So is equal to sum, i-add natin lahat, okay, hanggang dulong-dulo. Pwede yun. That does not violate the time value of money. Okay? Enter. Yan. So ano ibig sabihin ng 0.86 na yan? Ah, 8.06. Yung 8.06 na yan, lagilan natin PV, yung sum, sinam natin. Tapos ito na ang PV, natin PMT formula. Uh, dapat ito pala, no? Okay. Hindi ko na pala kailangan i-ano. Anyway, sige. 8.06, guys. Huh? So, yung 1 peso every year for the next 30 years, okay, I hope you're, uh, you're able to visualize that. Imagine mo, makakatanggap na ka ng 1 peso every year for the next 30 years. Okay? Tapos, you put it in, uh, okay, you invested 1 peso every year for the next 30 years at an investment that earns 12%. Ang equivalent value niya ngayon, 8.06. Okay? Of course, if you know the present value, you can also compute for the future value. Kasi ito na yung present value natin. 
then you can get the future value of this. So, magkano to after 30 years? Pareho lang yun. Okay, but we can also use the function in Excel is equal to, let's use the uh, straightforward function in Excel, PV. Ano yung rate natin? We're using the rate function. Okay, comma. Kuhaan ba natin? Rate T. Ayan. Tab. Rate, comma. Ilan yung enter natin, guys? Enter natin, 30. Huh? So, let me click this. 30. <clears throat> 30 periods. No? <clears throat> Tapos, ito, gagamitin natin, guys, si PMT. Ano yung PMT natin? What is our annuity? What's the constant cash flow? One, sir. Yes, one. Yung annuity natin, one. And remember, PMT is equal to annuity. No? So, one, 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 hanggang 30 years. No? So, ang PMT natin, itong one. Okay? Kama, ano future value natin? Kailan natin cash flow natin? Ano future value, guys? Okay. Anyone, guys? What's our future value? Future value is... Let me check. Okay, 30.03. Okay. Thank you for your answers. Any other guess, guys? Okay, thank you for answering, but I would like to uh, give another answer. 0 0.03, okay, thank you. 0 0.03, okay. Okay. Tingnan natin, guys, ha? Okay, let's, let's just understand what's uh, happening here. 8.06, okay, thank you for your uh, answering. Pero tingnan natin kung ano yung answer. Yung formula natin, guys, is this. Okay? I-ano ko na muna, no? Ano yung cash flow natin? So, aralin natin yung cash flow natin. Ang cash flow natin, ito. So, dapat ang itindihan natin kung ano yung cash flow natin. So, okay. Ang cash flow natin, guys, ito. Oops, sorry, draw ko lang timeline. Zero. At the beginning of the end of the period, may one. Second period, one. Third period, one. Fourth period, one. Kagawa niya, ano? One. All the way until 29.30. So this is one. This is one. Yan yung cash flow natin, guys. Okay. Anong tawag natin dito sa 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 hanggang 30? Anong tawag natin dito, guys? What do you call this? What type of cash flow is this? Yung 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 31. Anong tawag natin dyan, guys? Letter A. Hello? Annuity, sir. Annuity. No? Okay, correct. Thank you. Annuity ang tawag dyan. Kasi ang annuity, guys, constant, no? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 10, 10, 10, kung 10 yan, hanggang 10 lahat, no? So, tinan nyo, guys, ang annuity natin hanggang 30, di ba? Okay. Meron ba tayong future value? Meron pa ba tayong isang cash flow dito na hindi kasama dun sa 1? Meron ba? Wala, guys. So, ang cash flow lang natin, 1, 30 years na annuity of 1. So, kung tinatanong sa atin, may future value ba tayo? Doon sa, based on our cash flow? Wala. Okay, why is that important? Kasi, later on guys, kunyari, papag-aralan natin yung utang, yung bonds, no? So, kunyari, nang utang tayo, tapos yearly interest, 100, 100, 100, 100 tayo ng 100, bayad tayo ng bayad hanggang 30 years, 100. Tapos sa dulo, may babayaran pa tayo na 1 million dito. Kunyari dito, 1M. Yan. Take a look at that, guys. Okay, 
So let me just illustrate that. Okay, so meron tayong binabayaran na 100, 100 every year starting at the end of the period. So this is annuity ordinary. No? Hanggang 30 years, may babayaran tayong 100. And then, pagdating ng 30 years, may babayaran pa tayong 1 million. Oh. Ito guys, yung cash flow na may PMT, annuity, at saka meron pang future value. Okay, clear yun guys? So, itong klaseng cash flow na to, combination siya na may annuity, PMT, at saka may cash flow pa at sa, sa dulo, yung 1 million na to. So, that's now your, pre, that's now your future value. And then your PMT is your annuity. Kaso sa ano natin, sa example natin ngayon, wala tayong 1 million sa dulo. Okay? Ang binigay lang na example sa atin is igwa 1 lang for 30 years. So wala ito ah. Wala itong 1 million na ito. Wala yan. So balik ako sa tanong ko. Meron ba tayong annuity? Guys, answer? Paki ano na lang? Paki... Uh, unmute. May annuity ba tayo sa cash flow na yan? Yes po. Okay, yes. Meron tayong annuity. Okay. Meron ba tayong future cash uh, cash value at the end of the 30 years? None. None. Walang sinabi. Yung one na to, yung lahat ng one na to, kasama yan sa annuity. Okay? Kasama sa annuity yan. Annuity of one for 30 years. Okay, so when we present this formula, Okay, pag ginawa natin itong formula na to is equal to negative, negative FV, future value hinahanap natin. Rate natin, remember yung rate na ginamit natin na, na may pangalan na N per is, okay, N per is, ilan yung N per ng annuity natin? 30. Yan. Okay. Question, kung ama, PMT, ano yung PMT natin? 1. Ibig sabihin yan, 1 not Trentang 1. Okay? Trentang 1. Okay. And then, kama, sorry, PV. Okay, dito sa cash flow natin, meron ba tayong iba pang cash flow? Wala. 1 lang talaga. No, 1 lang. Wala ang sinasabi dito that at the beginning of the period, may 1,000 pa dito. Wala. Annuity lang na 1. Okay, so PV is, wala. So you can ignore that. Kama. So, PV is 0 or we can just leave it blank. Ito na guys yung type. So, anong klaseng ano to? What type of annuity is this? Is this annuity ordinary which is end of the period or annuity due which is beginning of the period? So, ano siya guys? 0 or 1? 0 sir. 0. End of the period. no? So, this is 0 stands for ordinary annuity. So we can type here zero or you can just leave it blank. No? You can just leave it blank kasi pag blank, zero yun. Okay, so close natin to. Control, enter. Okay, ano ba ginamit ko? Uh, sorry guys, ha? FV, dapat PV, no? my, my mistake. Ang hinanap natin, sorry, PV. My mistake, PV. Okay, so pareho din, no? Rate is N per, and then uh, N per is 30 years, PMT is 1, walang future value, type is 0 kasi annuity ordinary. Okay, control enter, there. Okay, so we can see guys that pareho lang siya. No? Ang advantage itong PMT formula, hindi na tayo nag, uh, nag isa isang uh, present value, di ba? Ito, ma matrabaho pa ito, no? Yun yung present value natin bawat isa. And then, in add natin, we added it to get 8.06. Pero dito, guys, diretso, formula, no? But we made use of the PMT, uh, PMT value. Okay. Any questions, guys? None, sir. None. Okay. So, I leave you guys to to compare no? paano kung ano naman kung annuity due so ibig sabihin one ang simula niya kagad no 30 30 to na one pero hanggang 29 lang no? yan hanggang 29 lang siya kasi nagsimula siya sa sa zero no? nagsimula siya sa zero 
So, tatlong pong cash flows din yan na one. So, let me just show you guys paano kung yung formula niya, pagkano yung present value niya is equal to negative PV. Okay. Ano yung rate? We use the rate of 12%, comma, and per natin, ilan yung periods na to guys? Ilang periods? Ilang one yung makukuha? Diba? Tatlong po din. Tama? Oo. 30. 30 din. Kasi ang tanong dyan, ilang one yung nakukuha natin? Tatlong po din, no? Okay, so let me... 30 din yung periods yan. Okay, and then... Uh, okay, tama? Ano yung PMT natin, guys? PMT is 1. Okay, tama? Wala rin future value. Anong type, guys? What type? 1. 1. Kasi beginning of the period. Immediately, guys. Annuity due to. Enter. Yan. See, guys? Okay, we were able to prove that. Oh, mas malaki talaga yung ano, no? Annuity due. Kasi, kuha mo na kagad ngayon yung pere. No? Ito, after one period pa. No? So, uh, we were able to prove that indeed, guys, ang annuity due will give us the bigger present value or future value. Okay, so let's uh, leave that here. Okay, so let's uh, solve these problems. Okay, so here we're being asked for the present value of an annuity. Okay. Ano daw ang ano? Ano daw ang ang uh, present value nito? So ano ibig sabihin ng payment na 30,000? So every year for the next uh, 30 years, number of payments 30, payment is 30,000. Magbabayad tayo ng <clears throat> 30,000. Ngayon hindi sinabi kung annuity due or ordinary pag hindi sinasabi Ano yung assumption, guys? Always? Always? So, sabi nito, present value. Pero hindi naman sinabi kung present value, ano ba to Annuity ordinary or due? Correct. Thank you, Madeline. The answer is an annuity ordinary. Okay? So, let's compute for the present value. So, I hope, guys, na na-imagine yung cash flow. Let, let, me, let me draw that para clear sa atin. Ano ba itong cash flow na to? So, ganito lang yan. So, you have this. You have your timeline. Sorry kung, kung hindi straight yung line natin. 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Break yung timeline. 29, 30. <clears throat> so, 30 years. So, bawat year, starting with 1, kasi ordinary annuity, 30K to. So 30K, 30K, hanggang dulong dulo, 30, 30. Oh, that's our annuity, guys. No? Tatlumpong, tigta 30 mil no? na cash flow. Ang tanong, magkano ngayon yan? So ang, yan ang tinatanong sa atin. How much now? Okay, yung long cut natin, kung nakuha natin yung present value ng bawat isa, di ba? Iisa-isahin natin yan. Kaso nga, sabi natin, May shortcut dyan kasi kung pare-pareho kung pare-pareho naman to yung cash flow natin that's an annuity so there's a special formula for that and this is the special formula but we're not going to compute it using the formula gagamitin natin si technology gagamitin natin si Excel okay so let's let's compute so this is equal to lalagyan ko ng negative para hindi siya mag negative no? negative PV ano yung rate O, oh, ito iba na yung rate natin. 10%. No? N per, ilan? 30 yung number of payments. Tama. Ano yung PMT natin, guys? What's our PMT? PMT natin, guys? 30,000. 30,000. 30, yeah, 30,000. Thank you. 30,000. Kama, may future value ba? Wala. Wala sa ating sinasabi na may future value pa na involved. 
panay annuity lang na 30. So skip that. And then type, anong klaseng type guys? In the absence of any statement that it's annuity ordinary or due, we always assume that it's annuity ordinary. So either type 0 <coughs> or leave that blank. <coughs> In fact, pwede tayo mag-end dito sa B31. <coughs> Kasi 0 din to eh. So by not putting anything there, Excel will still read that. Okay, control enter. <coughs> so it's equal to 282.807. <coughs> okay, so yung 30,000 for 30 years at 10%, pareho lang yan sa 282.807 ngayon. Okay, so I hope you see the, uh, the relationship. No? So pwede kong palitan to. I can change this one. Yung 30 years na to, na tigta 30 mil. Pwede kong palitan yan ng isang value ngayon, 282.807. So this value and this value, they are equivalent. Pareho lang yan. <clears throat> equivalent yan. So you can use this, annuity of 30, you can use this. Single cash flow ngayon, 282. Okay. As with the assumption that 10 years yung rate. Okay, of course, pag nabago yung rate, bababago din yung, yung relationship. <clears throat> okay? So, if it's, on the other hand, if it's annuity due, so just to check, no? annuity due is equal to negative PV. Rate is, and the rate pala natin is 10%. Kama, N per is 30. Kama, PMT is 30. <clears throat> comma, walang future value, comma, type is, anong type guys? Annuity due. Type is, di ba, one, no? Kasi annuity due yan. Control, enter. <clears throat> you can see guys that annuity due is indeed bigger. Okay, bigger compared to uh, an uh, annuity uh, uh, ordinary. Uh, of course, guys, we can compute for the future value. No? Tingnan natin, ha? <laughs> Compare natin. Is equal to negative FB. Rate is 10%. per <clears throat> is 30. Annuity natin is 30,000. Kama. Present value. Walang present value, guys. Okay? Okay, take note, guys, ha? Yung 282 na to, equivalent to dun sa 30,000 per year, no? annuity. <clears throat> so, hindi ko nilalagay itong 282 kasi ang sinasabi mo, may 30,000 ka na, meron ka pang 282 sa simula. Okay, hindi ganun guys, di ba? Meron ka lang 30,000 na annuity for 30 years or meron kang 282.807 ngayon. Okay? Hindi yan, at, hindi yan parehong meron mo. I hope that's clear, guys. Equivalent cash flow sila. You either have one or the other. Okay? Kaya nga sinasabi ko dito, uh, yung PMT ko is 30,000 for 30 years. Meron pa ba akong present value? Wala, no? Wala. Wala, ako, wala na ako ibang cash flow. Ito lang 30,000. Eh, ano yung 282 dito? Yung 282, equivalent yan ito, guys. So they're not, you're not going to get that at the same time. No? Kinuha lang natin yung equivalent na 30,000 for the next 30 years. The equivalent is 282. Okay, so uh, walang present value. Ano yung type, guys? Again, since walang uh, sinabi dito kung ordinary or due, ordinary tayo. Yan. So yung 30,000 for the next 30 years, equivalent yan sa 4934. 4934820. In fact, guys, if we use our present value, tinan natin ha? Okay. So hanapin natin si present future value using our present value of 282. Diba tandaan nyo si 282 equivalent yan dun sa annuity na 30 for 30, for 30 years. So if we're going to use that, we're going to use this cash flow. Ang rate is 10%, comma, N per is 30, comma, Walang PMT, okay? Take note, ha? Ang ginagamit natin yung equivalent cash flow na 282. 
Okay. Pero may present value tayo na 282. Okay? So we can ignore the type kasi hindi na hindi niya annuity to. Okay, sige. Guys, ano lumabas? It's already almost time. <clears throat> What's the answer, guys? Okay, same. Exactly, no? Pareho lang, no? Okay, anong sinasabi sa atin ito? Itong mga cash flows na to, equivalent yan. So, 30,000 for 30 years, earning at 10% is equivalent to 282,807 now. And it is also equivalent, itong 30,000 for 30 years or 282,807 now is also equivalent to 4,934, uh, 4 million at at the end of 30 years. So they are all equivalent cash flows. So which is better? 30,000 now for 30 years or 282,000 now uh, or 4934 after 30 years? Answer which is better guys? Which is better among the three? 30,000 now? Okay, thank you Hans, you're correct. Same guys. Indifferent tayo. Kasi equivalent cash flows lang yan. So, kunyari itong 282, no? If I invest it in 10%, after 30 years, I get 4934. Pareho lang. Okay? So, last guys, it's already time na, no? One minute na lang. So, let's see. Compute na natin. Okay? So, we can use either or. So, kunyari, ano equivalent na 282? Now, kasi ano to, present value, in terms of annuity at 10%. Or ano equivalent ni 4934 after 30 years in terms of annuity. So how do we compute for this? Is equal to negative PMT. Nalagay natin negative para hindi maging negative yung answer. Ano yung rate guys? Rate is, what's the rate? 10%, comma. What's N per? N per is 30 years, comma. What's the present value? Gamitin natin sa present value. Okay? Tama? So, since ginamit na natin, guys, yung present value, hindi natin gagamitin sa future value, ha? Kasi hindi naman magkaibang cash flows yan, ha? They're just equivalent cash flows. So, walang future value, kama. Type natin is ordinary. No? Kailangan ilagay natin to kasi hinahanap natin si annuity. So, we have to put here zero because we're looking at ordinary annuity. Enter, guys. 30,000. Pareho ba? Oh, annuity daw 30,000. So if you want 282 now, okay, you have to uh, invest 30,000 for the next 30 years at 10%. And lastly, guys, how about kung ang ginamit natin yung future value? Rate is 10%. And per is 30. Walang present value. Future value yung gamitin natin. Okay, tama. Type is zero. Ordinary then. And you will find, guys, that it is. Final answer, guys. Ano to? Answer? Same, sir. Same. It's 30,000. Okay, let me stop the recording now.